Okay, welcome to the weekend video. It's actually the weekend this time. It's Saturday morning, well, Saturday afternoon, here in sunny west of Ireland, for a change. <clears throat> Everybody's locked down, so why not do a video, eh? Uh, okay, so we'll start with Euro Dollar. This is what, uh, this is the four hour count that I've been working with. Uh, we have an expanded flat wave two and a wave one and two. Uh, off that expanded flat. So this should begin wave three down. Uh, we're expecting a rally in wave two. We've got a, pr a pretty significant rally in wave two this week. So that um, part of the thesis also works. Uh, so next week we would expect wave three down to begin. <clears throat> um, apart from that, let's get into the uh, short term count. Wave three down, I suppose. Should carry us uh, if 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 it goes that way. Wave three down should carry us below below parity. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Euro dollar four hour. There's the hourly count. Uh, we've reached on Friday. There we reached about well right into that kind of resistance zone there, fifty to sixty two percent retracement level. Um, a second wave up. We rallied up towards the price territory of the previous lower degree second wave, so uh, or two degrees lower second wave. So here we are, right in a predominant turning zone or a an area where you would expect some um, where some where you would expect a counter trend move to uh, to stop. So what do I expect? I expect this counter trend move to stop. Um, the reason, main reason being, uh, we've got, yeah, we're right into the, we're expecting a second wave rally. We got a rally. Um, it seems to be in three waves. So I have three waves up in A, a triangle B wave, and then a uh, five wave to, uh, rally in wave C. Uh, spike higher on Friday. Uh, should we expect on Monday, if we get a sell off back below this kind of uh, swing low here at 109.50 again? If we get a, a sell-off back below that uh, internal fourth wave here uh, at 109.50, that would probably indicate that wave one of uh, larger wave three has begun. Uh, so let's see how that plays out next week. Um, uh, I, I think definitely if we get a break of this kind of this triangle area here, this triangle B wave 107.80. That'd be a strong hint that the uh, the turn for wave three is in. Okay, so for now, uh, we we wanted wave two up. We got wave two up. Now we need to get wave three down. Okay, so uh, get on it, euro dollar. <laughs> uh, the <coughs> the pound dollar count, pound dollar cable count, is um slightly, let's say mystifying in one way um i was expecting a fourth wave rally but this rally is uh, it's quite extended uh, i'm still calling it wave four for the moment um uh, because you can still count it as a fourth wave you can still count it sorry as a, a three-way move so a corrective move so you know I, I i don't sound as certain on this one because i'm not as certain on this one uh, if we go out to the daily count, we could be. There is a a chance that we are working with something a little bit more. Uh, I have to get rid of that. A little bit more like a an, a long term fourth wave, probably expanded flat or something like that. So that's an alternate count at the moment. But I just have to kind of uh, wait and see how this uh, plays out on Monday. If we turn lower impulsively again, well then we're right back on track for wave three down. And uh, so I don't see any reason uh, to change it just yet. But, you know, I was expecting this this plunge into a third wave. We got that. I mean, there's no reason to change my mind right now on, on what's happening here. OK, so the hourly count, you can see a three wave move, A, a running flat wave B, and then a pretty clear five wave move here in wave C. So you got wave one up two, three. Maybe a flat correction wave four there, or some sort of uh, 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 say ranging pattern, maybe a triangle, maybe 
wave four and then a spike into wave five high. Um, the other thing that's, that's kind of caught my eye is if we count it like this, then uh, the length of wave C here uh, reaches 162% of the length of wave A. So, you know, I know it's a, a steep retracement, but if we get a turn lower to early next week, uh, let's say we break back below that wave A level, uh, that 120 level again, uh, then that would probably indicate at, at least wave 5 is underway. Or we could even be talking about wave 1 of 5. But we'll see. We'll leave that for later. Uh, so wave 5 of 3 is what I want to to, to happen next. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't sound the most convinced by this, but uh, i got to work with something. So that's what I'm working with. Okay. Uh, we go to dollar yen. Uh, we have still this triangle underway. I was expecting a bounce on wave D. We have a, a bounce in wave D. Well, most likely wave D anyway. And uh, we, we seem to be falling again uh, in wave E. So I would expect that wave E uh, decline to continue to complete a triangle wave B here. So four hour count. Uh, you can see m most likely um, three three five pattern up here in wave um, D. So that's a three wave move, and then a pretty impulsive move off that high. So looking for a turn early this week, and we got it. Also, that translated into a rally in in the Atlantic pairs. But you know, I'll just leave that on the table for the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so. Are we turning into wave E? That's what I'm expecting. Three wave declining wave E to complete uh, the larger wave B in black. So that's got to go uh, to black. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the hourly count, see three waves up. Uh, wave C here completed with, with an ending diagonal. So we have a wave one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, wave five. And then we moved with a lower high. Uh, well, you can you can call this five waves down in wave A. That's, that's feasible. Uh, for the moment, I have it marked as three waves. Uh, I may change that. So we could be getting a simple zigzag down in wave A of, of wave B. So this would be large degree wave E in blue. And then well, so we get three waves down in A, three waves up in B, uh, uh, at least, well, yeah. Three waves down in A at least. Uh, three waves up in B, and then a possible five wave decline in wave C. Um, the other way you could count this is, is uh, wave A is already. Um, let's say this this decline is working at one higher degree than what I've labeled it, uh, and maybe this is all of wave A that we're working right now. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see on that one. But I do expect some sort of consolidation. Uh, next week, or maybe towards the end of next week, um, in wave B, and then a decline in wave C again. Okay, so here's the four four hour count in uh, the Dow. Uh, change this week to a three wave decline rather than a five wave decline. So this becomes wave A down. Um, so we have A B C of A. We should be working on wave A B C of B. And we're expecting a rally this week. Again, that's just the other thing. We expect it. It comes. And of course, you know, uh, pundits are turning incredibly bullish again, which is amazing after the you know, horrendous decline we've just seen. Um, but for the moment, I mean, this B wave, this larger degree B wave could pull us back up to, you know, 24,000, above 24,000 again. Uh, there's, n there's nothing to say that it won't. So let's get into the hourly chart. If it tra if it traces out the way it, I think it might, um, we have a fifty percent retracement level at twenty three eight forty five. So there's no reason why we couldn't push into twenty four thousand in wave C of B. Uh, but first we have to clear out wave B here, the internal wave B of B. So uh, I think maybe five waves up in A. You could count that both ways actually. To be quite honest, uh, you could go uh, A B. Oh, sorry. 
A up to this, say this, uh, this internal high here, this small high, and then maybe a running flat wave B, and then a C wave. Depends on how you want to, to view that. For the moment, I'll stick with a five. So this could be five, three, five, a zigzag pattern up towards the 50% retracement, or it could be three, three, five, a flat pattern. Um, for the moment, uh, we've got a decline on Friday, uh, rebound to an internal uh, small lower high in wave B, and then we fell again on Friday evening. So it's it's likely that wave C of A is already underway. Um, and if we push back towards that previous fourth wave level of about 20, 26, sorry, 21,600, well, forgive me, 2,600, um, yeah, we'd consider that three waves down, wave A done, and then we'd look for a B wave. Uh, you could also say that this is wave A at one higher degree, and maybe this is wave B. And then we'll see a decline in wave C. I mean, if if we if we get an impulsive decline that that pushes back towards back below twenty thousand again, that would probably favour the larger wave B uh, as being you know the way to view that decline. Uh, but then it's still expect a rally in wave C. So three waves overall over the next couple of weeks, um, and that should complete a, a very bearish uh, lower high in wave B, and then we'd expect wave C to begin. And wave C itself, yeah, that could, could push us back down towards uh, 15, 14, maybe even 13. Maybe even into the 10s. <laughs> uh, I just, I don't know at the moment. Uh, if I was, if I was to take a, uh, a punt on it right now, I mean, you could say, if we gave a 50% retracement to wave B and then a push lower in wave C that matched the um, decline in wave A, that would bring us about, down to about 13,000 on the low end uh, for wave C. So mm, a very significant decline ahead once this wave B is done. Alrighty, uh, let's move on. But it looks like wave B here is gonna is going to play out for at least another week anyway, maybe even more, maybe two weeks. Alrighty, uh, gold, I have to get my bearings. Um, gold is consolidating for the last couple of days after a nice um, impulsive rally, which shouldn't be complete, it shouldn't be finished just yet. Uh, it's nice to see that we're closing the week above 1600 again, um, which kind of, you know, put this, um, recent move uh this this recent kind of uh, waterfall move off the edge of uh the uh, recent uh, extreme highs above 1700 that's kind of waterfall decline back towards 1400 again so you know 250 dollar decline it does kind of mark that out now as a part of a correction and uh, we should be moving higher into at least a wave five but this could be wave one of also wave three so if you, excuse me, if you look at the daily chart here, you could count that recent high as a wave one of three, and the the decline, that kind of waterfall decline there, as wave two of three. So I do like the fact that we we halted at the previous fourth wave level there again, and we rallied nice and powerfully off that. So I'm looking at this as a possible wave one of five of three. Um, with the larger possibility that it could be wave one of three of three. Alrighty. And if it's if this is going to be a third of a third rally, uh, then we should blow out above that. But we should be probably touching up around 3,000 before wave three finishes. Alrighty. Four hour count. Yeah, we've done all of that. Uh, well, apart from to say that uh, if wave five was to touch uh, up that up against that upper trend channel line again, we could be talking about 1750 or so to complete wave five of three. But my hat is probably hanging on a larger rally here. Um, I was a little bit worried 
uh, earlier on in the week that we we had a three wave rally. Um, that this could be a three three five, but I am kind of buoyed a little bit by the, um, the the very corrective action of the recent highs. So it does suggest that we will see further rallies uh, next week, especially if the stock market turns lower into a B wave. We should see further rallies in uh, in gold. And overall, I'm looking for five waves up in wave one uh, before we correct again in wave two. Uh, so next week, I am eyeing a, a continuation of the rally. So let's, let's see how that works out. Okay, uh, crude oil. Crude oil, crude oil, where have you been? So we got this nice, uh, again, cascading move lower in a third wave. So I think this was a three of a three. And we got this expansion gap in the middle of it here as well. So that does um, that does kind of point us definitely in the direction of a, of an acceleration gap within a, a third of a third wave. So the idea that we've got wave one, two, one, two, three, four, and uh, a further low in wave five on the way, it definitely solidifies that idea. Okay, so the four hour chart here, that's the pre previous wave too high. Here you see the expansion gap within that uh, third wave decline. Okay, um, gap lower ended at 34.70 or so. We saw a fourth wave correction. Uh, well, wave three ended at 27.58. Uh, we, we saw a fourth wave correction back into that uh, gap. And then we saw a, a further impulsive decline still unfolding, I think. Uh, we could have wave three. A, B, C, D, E, 4 and 5 still on, maybe we're still on the doorstep of uh, declining into wave 5. Uh, certainly going by the action over the last few days, it's, it's just been a ranging kind of consolidation uh, with a narrowing price range. Uh, so that does suggest a triangle and possibly one more little three-wave rally to, let's call it about 24, 30 or something. Uh, in wave E before declining in wave, uh, sorry, wave E of four before declining in wave five. Um, so for next week, uh, I want this triangle to complete. If that's if this is the way, if this is the way it's going to play out, uh, I'd like that triangle to complete below twenty five sixty. So then wave four will be complete, and then we could look for a decline in wave five. Okay, so the S&P for our same, um, a slightly different count. We're looking at a zigzag, possible zigzag lower in, in a larger wave A. Um, this does count a little bit better as five waves down in wave A. And uh, we should have an ongoing B wave over the next uh, couple of weeks again. So here's the, yeah, sorry, I moved that out to be in a wave A. Wave B. So wave A down, completed in five waves. Uh, the reason I go for a uh, five wave move here in wave A is because, well, actually, the action up here, um, we have a clear th three wave rally in wave two and then a lower high in a, as a one, two, three, four, and then five in wave three. And then we have three wave rally in wave four. And then we have one, two, three, four, five down as an ending diagonal in wave five. So we have a complete five wave move and we are experiencing kind of a bounce off that five wave move. So wave A down is done and now we're bouncing in wave B. 50% uh, retracement lies at 27.90, let's call it. Uh, so we have a previous fourth wave there as well. We have uh, two previous fourth waves. We have larger degree fourth wave and a smaller degree wave four of three. We've got this cluster of targets here from 2708 to 2880. Um, with a 61% or 62% retracement at uh, 2930. So we should hit some significant resistance uh, up around that level, that upper trend channel line there. But still, may as well pick the center point 2780 or 2790 um, as a 50% retracement and 
then we'd look for a decline again in wave C. For the moment, we have wave A done, and we're kind of working on wave D, B down. Um, does suggest that we will see lower prices on Monday and Tuesday, possibly, uh, as we fall down into that lower trend line before rallying again in wave uh, C of B. Uh, there is an outside possibility that wave B is already done, and then this decline continues as an impulsive decline. Mm. It's not out of this world, it's not out of bounds uh, at all. I don't favor it, but that doesn't mean that it ain't gonna happen. Um, so I'll leave it in there. So possible alternate that wave B is done or nearing completion. Um, well, I suppose if we see a, a rally into that 50% level um, on Monday, and then we see a decline, impulsive decline out of that level, that would probably lean towards uh, wave B, wave B already complete. But uh, let's wait and see on that one. Um, medium term, looking for this B wave, three wave correction to complete, and then longer term, looking for wave C down. Uh, okay, let's get into silver. Silverado. Uh, fourth wave correction has extended higher slightly. Um, which has raised its own kind of uh, possibilities, let's say. And the, um, let's say the bullish possibilities hinge around this previous wave one level here. So that's up around uh, 1640 or something. Let's get into the hourly chart. You can see here the wave one level at 1638. Um, if that level is breached, then we will probably turn bullish earlier than I expected. Uh, but for the moment, it seems we have an A, B with an extended wave uh, C underway. And the action over the last couple of days has been some sort of triangle. Uh, so we should see a pop in wave five to complete wave C of four. And that should hold below 1638 on the higher end. And then we fall into wave five again. The wave five should uh, bottom out below 1130 before rallying again. Uh, so next week, let's see if we get a completing a completed five wave pattern in wave C, and then we look for a decline again in wave five. Yeah, that does it. Um, uh, thanks for hanging around during the week, guys. Um, and uh, to all you new people, <laughs> thanks for watching. Head over to the website, check out uh, the membership options. But uh, for now. I'm going to leave you. Have, have a happy and safe weekend if you can. Um, locked down in your <laughs> respective bedrooms. Um, don't forget to uh, also remember that all this crap will end most likely sooner rather than later. And uh, normal life shall resume. Uh, okay, God bless. Be good. And uh, see you on the far side. Monday night. Bye bye.